everyone welcome back to the dos tv it's not the first time with the city channel make you know our car pass make you like and share and subscribe as you do that may god bless you all my amazing returning subscriber you all are welcome for your amazing support may god bless every one of you i got the video one that i want to drop what do i think about this video put it in the comment section please like the video share the video if you never subscribe, subscribe and press the bell so that me they join the movie train as they move. As you do that, may God bless you. I see you guys on my next video. As you are joining this program, whether you believe in the truth or not, all you have to do is to share. The things that we're going to talk about here is to make a connection to what has happened in the past what is still happening and what might still happen in the future concerning the 27th of January 2022 live broadcast Mazi Chike Dozen, the head of director of state made just a few days ago and you know try to make some connections based on what she said because from some of you who have not watched that program I encourage you to go and watch it this program was on the 27th January, this month, 2022. And uh, one of the points, he said there, he said that all the IPOB members should not keep information to themselves. He is referring to who? He is referring to the officials, the coordinators. He is referring to the national coordinators. He is referring to even a floor member. That you call yourself a floor member and you have an information that will improve this struggle in the future. That you, not, you don't need to do it. You don't need to keep those information to yourself. Now that brings me to a question to ask. The people that you are sacking, I don't know what they did, but it's just a question. It's just a question. The people that you're asking, they, you sacked. Are you sacking them because they are asking similar questions that some of us are asking? Or did they really do something wrong? Because I want to take you back, like I said, what, have, what transpired before. On the 21st of June, 2021, myself, Mazwa Nikema Nkendele a bona fide active member of IPOB, and also an active financial member as well, serving the indigenous people of Afra through media. Mark that word, media. And as a media, whatever that comes on your table, if you did not deliver it to the appropriate channel, be it secretly, be it something that the people will consume, if you don't deliver it, that means you are not doing your job. You're just saying now. And this message, it came to me on the 21st of June, 2021, from one of our comrades in a Bonny state, which all of you know by name, Mazi Igwe Chukuma. Igwe Chukuma, is, he is one of the principal officers. He is a deputy coordinator of ALO, Zone 3, Unit 1. He also a one of the headers in the media and he sent me a report for me to pass to the higher authority which is the national coordinator is the higher authority that I have in contact I am privileged to have in contact with him to send in this on the 21st of June 2021 because the reason I'm asking this question number one what you said on your program on the 27th January 2021, that all the IPOB members should not keep information to themselves. You're just saying now. One, the message that I sent to him that Radio Biafra is not working in Ebony State, Iguacha, Enugu, Imo State, Abia State, Anambra State, and other entire Biafra land. This one on 21st of June. 2021, just about a few days before our leader, just about a few days when our leader was kidnapped. So for you to see that when things are happening, or when those things are beginning to happen, I begin to feel it, things begin to work immediately. You're also saying now. Now, this is number one. Number two, 
that Igwe Obonaya and China Songoru are the reason why Radio Biafra is not working in a bony state and entire Biafra land, if, not, if, the, if that case might be. Number three, that Igwe Obonaya has joined a Bubago security outfit. Currently, they are appointing people's houses. For your information, this is the message that I sent to the national coordinator of Germany on the 21st of June, 2021. Because according to what Mazi Chika, a dosyanku, he said that all the IPOB members should not keep any information to themselves. You're also saying that they should not keep any information to themselves. Did National Coordinator report this message that I sent? The answer is no. He said, when they point your house, when they, meaning Igwe Obonaya, and the people who are working with China and World, when they point your house, they will take you away and kill you immediately, burn your house immediately. These are the reports that I reported to the national coordinator. He said that they have killed a lot of people since yesterday, the 20th of June. Mark that date, 20th of June. 2021 in Ebony State. I sent this message on the 21st. The message came to me on the 21st. I pushed it immediately on the 21st. But according to what he said, he said that the, since yesterday, the 20th of June 2021, that a lot of people had been killed in Ebony State. Now, the question you're going to ask yourself Am I doing my job very well or not? That is the question. I want you to put, mark that date. Mark this date, the 20th of June. Then yesterday, I received the message like today on the 21st. Am I doing my work or not? He went and said, he said that this information just came now about 2 p.m. Biafran time today, the 21st of June, 2021, by Mazi Igwe Obunaya, by Mazi Igwe Chukuma, the deputy Ikwere media head in Iguacha. The very moment he received the message, he even put the time. 2 p.m. Biafran time, he received it. And he is sending it to me. And immediately I'm receiving the message, I, am, I, am, I was forwarding it, I forwarded it immediately to the who? The higher authority in Germany. The moment. Now, the question I'm going to ask yourself, did this information get to the appropriate channel as it was directed? Just like, you, just like what our leader used to say. Now, when I got the message, I told you, no, no. I told you, 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 I I told I made a program sometime ago. I said to I told you, I I told I you, the people that he is sacking unlawfully, I don't know what they do, but are they being removed justifiable? Or is it because they're asking questions? I said to one of my programs, do the right thing, bring this family together. Because the DOS is the, the mountain of leadership that our leader. But now as things are going on, it seems as if that the DOS, the HOD, he is not ready to do what? To make, to unify this family. You also say now. Now, he said, but right now, I'm still reading the report that I sent to the national coordinator for your information. He said, but right now, he is in a bony state. And I sent his number, his contact, the contact of the person that sent this message for further investigation. Now, the question you're going to ask yourself, is Mazi Odinkeman Kendele Mwachineke doing his job? Immediately he received this message. Is he doing his job or not? Since June, July, August, September, September, for three months and all, getting to four months, they keep on calling me. Nani yen eme kene eme? Na chin asa ngoro kane busi sinde bany. You go one neck and appoint the house. A bubagan cable bag. 
kana bom kana bo the national coordinator on ebu igwe on ebu phone call ya mba the answer is no because the reason why i'm bringing this in up is because the 27th of November, I mean 27th of January 2021, the program or the broker that Chike Dozen did, he said that all the IPO, if you have not watched it, go and watch it. You will hear what he said. He said all the IPOB members should not keep information to themselves. Now, the people who are being removed, are they being removed justifiable or because that they ask questions? That is a question. I am still coming. On the 23rd of June, a voice note from the same place that the message came to confirmation. It came, I forwarded it. I cannot play it, but all the evidence is here. You are saying now? All the evidence is here. On the 20, 20, 21st, 23rd, and 25th, this Three messages that I sent to national coordinator concerning the same issue. Did he forwarded it? No. For three good months, I was refusing call. For three good months, I was calling. He doesn't pick my call. Somebody who called yourself a principal officer, even you that is watching, because a lot of you who are occupying a top official position. All of you, most of you are dormant of your job. You don't pick call. You cannot have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with a brother. You are feeling too big because of the position you occupy. Then how can you be able to do your job? That is why I said some time ago that some people are sabotaging this struggle because of what? Laziness. And when somebody is sabotaging the struggle because of laziness, then the person who has an evil mind toward this struggle, the person will do what? We have a green light to do what? In order to march on and do whatever he has to do. Now, when somebody like Mazar Ninkem and Kendalim now come up from another angle, treating the same issue, you will now see those lazy principal officers trying to push him away, trying to remove him in order to shut him up for him not to seek, for him not to be able to speak the truth. Because he wants to cover himself. But because he is lazy of his job, or maybe he is working with the enemy, but when the thing now come back again, because the person who is sending the message is consistently sending the message to me, and I'm consistently disturbing. What happened? Instead of the thing to burst from the other side, for him to be expelled or for him to be removed from his position, they are now using their power to gang up, to lie against them in order to do what to remove them. Now, the question is, the people that HOD is removing, are you doing your thorough investigation from outside? Are you doing what you people, you, you went to school? You went to school? Are you doing what you call independent investigation? To find out exactly. What did they tell you? The people that you are moving, the people, the people you are in, how are you getting your information? Are you getting your information from the people? Or, that is why our little Mazen Namdekan is very, very wise. He doesn't put his egg in one basket. Mazen Namdekan doesn't put his egg in one basket. You are saying now, that is why God will ever, God will ever bless that man, and nothing will happen to him. Are you doing your investigation independently to get it from another source, or are you getting your investigation from the same people who is drawing the struggle back in order for the struggle not to move forward? Because, number one point, all the IPUB members should not keep information to themselves, meaning that whenever information comes to you, push it out. It came to Mazar in Kemba and on the 21st of June 2021, and he pushed it immediately. He came to Mazi Igwe Chukuma on the 21st, <laughs> on the 21st of June, 
By 2 p.m., I started there. He pushed it immediately without wasting of time. Now, the higher authority, when I push it to, did he push it? No, he did not push it. What did he do? He sit on it. Why? Is he lazy? I don't know. Is he working with the enemy? I don't know. But I've done my job. But because that dog job has not been concluded, our people are keep on dying. As I keep on repeating call, I keep on pushing. Just say now. What did I do? Nothing. Not until, not until on the uh, on the on the first of September. August. August, September. On the thirtieth of uh, 30, 31st or thirty either thirty first or thirtieth of August. Which tomorrow will be, be tomorrow will be the uh, will be uh, first of September. Fulani came to Ebony State in order to do what? To continue their massacre, just like what they did on the 30th of May 2021, that killed over 200 people. Over 200 people were massacred, our brothers and sisters. What happened? They came again on the 30th of August, or 30th of August, with 15 boats. And the people of our people over there are crying. That in the full line of This time around, with 15 boats. As, so, as God so kind. The same people that, is, that I'm representing, I'm, I'm, I'm presenting for them to report what is on the ground. When they begin to analyze it, how the Fulani came with 15 boats from Lower Benue to Ebony State, how our gallant men went there in order to do what? To confront them. As they went there, they find that it's only 15 boats. Nobody to be found. Now, those people, those are men, they went there with what? With bare hand. This is from the mouth of the Ebony, the current state, the current Ebony state coordinator, the current Ebony state women coordinator from her mouth. Oh, I see. If I never would tell you about. Now, now, they have a man in a china and wool. Now, hey, Lena Ebony. Now, hey, Lena Ebony. This is from the woman. This is how the same thing that I've been reporting to the higher authority three or four months ago now resurfaced from another angle. You really see it cannot be the truth. So that's why I ask the HOD. According to what you said, all the IPOB members should not give information to themselves. Now the National Coordinator of Germany, what did he told you? Did he, what did he told you? That is a question. Did he say he didn't receive the message? I have it here. The, the, the document that I sent to you, the document that I sent to you, I did not screenshot all this evidence. I did not screenshot, I did not, I didn't even put, I didn't even put his name here. Because things have been done, bad things have happened, and he didn't do his job well. And now we are now. I was thinking that we are facing the main enemy, not knowing that even the enemy is within us. Did I put his name? Is a question. Check it, The document that I sent to you. Did I mention the name of the name of a uh, uh, national coordinator there? The answer is no. I only reported according to what the report that I got from the Ebony Women Leader Coordinator down from the 1st of September down to 7 or 8 September. Did I mention anybody's name? The answer is no, because I'm not a rat. I am not a rat. But they use their hands in order to bring this about. So I ask you, why nobody has been sacked? Why has it not been suspended? All these people that you're sacking, suspending them, what did they do? I don't know what they do, but it's a question. It's a question. It is a question because it happens to me. It happens to me because, number one, 
I ask for the second time that I want to take an oath. They did not give it to me. And when he saw an opportunity that I was making an expose, when I make making an expose against China Sangworu, he said, Hey, you are you are you are you are you are attacking China Sangworu. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? From now on, as long as I am the coordinator of Germany, that you are no longer a member of IPOB in Hamburg. I said, Naya. Nah, you cannot stop me to be a member of IPOB. I am a member of IPOB. My name is Mars, and I've been proclaiming this life from the beginning as an active financial member of this struggle. I don't know the meaning, but this is, this is me. And up until today, I'm still active financial member up until this moment. You see now? Up until this moment. So now, the question to Chike Dozim is why nobody has sacked the or suspend uh, Mazi uh, uh, Collins. Why nobody have sacked him? Or even the entire executive, the entire executive in the in the in the, in the, in the Hamburg, why hasn't they been asked questions? Why is it that the first time you did not give this guy oath? You ask him to come and take oath. You ask him that you're going to give him oath for him to be a family member. With wholeheartedly, he he accepted. That is good with with all the other because nobody pushed me to join this struggle. I was the one running after every platform that I see radio be after typing, searching. Where can I join Biafra? Where can I join uh, the IPUB in my location? Where can I join? Where can I join? And somebody from Ireland sent me a contact to tell you that nobody forced me to come and join this IPUB. And when I was told I'm gonna to take an oath with wholeheartedly, that was about two or three years ago. They didn't give me any 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 oath. Have you asked them why? Why have why didn't you give him oath? It's a question. But even a male tanga, only what you had to turn Nadjo, this thing Sanda no Anasak, in a Mekwa, in a in a Mekwa independent investigation to find out what what really happened. Can even it's a question. Have you asked them? Because the entire executive there, they are aware that they deny me oath. This oath, you know, I say oath, oath, oath. Me, voluntary, I said I want, people are running away, but me, I say I want to take it. About three or four, three or three, two or three years ago, they deny me. Even recently, on the 23rd of, uh, 23rd of uh, July, 23rd of July, yeah, 23rd of July, 2021, I requested for the same oath again to be taken. For the second time, now I requested with a voice note. With a voice note, all the evidence is here. That I want a date for you to give me an oath. You say say now. Was it given to me? On the 23rd of July, a day before we went to protest in uh, Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf protests were held on the 24th of August. No, 20, 21st of um, uh, July. Nine. Not July, August. July or August? Yes. No, July. I'm correct, July. Because our leader, the first court he went was on the 26th of July. Yes. So the protest in Dusseldorf was on the 24th of July, 2021. And after that, on the 26th, we went to Munich. I went to Munich to represent my own unit. So on the 23rd, I requested myself with a voice note that I want to take an oath. Munga try take it. Oath. Munga. Just on 20, on this is a truth. Makin even on a watchy monte. On if any maybe go on a good broken. Each or each jack go kill a megany. Mananda wana law luana. Even if you are compromised, even if you are compromised, you still have that mountain of leadership. You say, say now. You still have that mantle of leadership. You do what? You step down. You give. You appoint somebody to take that in. Those people who are corrupt, including the people that even our leader Mas Nambekan in Biafra land has sacked during the Ensal protest. They are still working right now. And you know them. You have all the documents. What have you done? Nothing. A brother who requested to take an oath, they refused him. Did you ask them? Did you do the investigation? No. Of course, you will not do investigation. Did I write it in the document that I sent to you? Of course not. Of course not. Because all on knowledge may be my law on I don't mean that. I'm not even know. All on 
edge more bimu when na lo lo na lo so just in order to to amano would i say to prove to them you say say now for them to accept me you say say now then give me this oath i want it i want it was it given to me? No. Did you make an investigation? Did I write all this report in the, in the in the document I sent to you? Of course not. I didn't write it. Did I mention any principal officers here in the Western world in that document? Of course not. Because what? I am not a rat. If you made a mistake and you have opportunity with me, I'll give you an advice. That's what I'll give you. If you like, you change. If you don't like, you leave it. But you cannot cross my way. You cannot cross my way. If my way, you cannot cross my way. Because the work I am doing, I am doing it with the whole heart. Nobody, nobody can cross my way. I can with all your time. Nobody. Nobody. Now, this uh, second point. Concerning the statement that you make on the 27th, 27th, 27th of January 2022 on your live broadcast, you say that uh, Asari Dokobo in his message said that the, all the indigenous people of Afra should be killed. Now I am adding up to say, that is to say, when he said all the indigenous people of Afra, he, he meant to say that all the IPOB family members in the whole 13 state should all be killed. Because we have IPOB family members in the whole 13 state in Biafra land, right? But now, what surprises me is when you said that, that Azari Dokobo let him come to Southeast. Then I go see a because if you have not watched that message, go and watch it. You said that you are a leader. You said that you are a leader. But what did you do? How are you carrying everybody along with this statement by telling Asari Dokoba that it's only when he comes? This is your message. Now let me interpret it. You are telling Asari Dokobo that the only time that you are going to react, that the only time you're going to react, if only that you're going to react to, is when he comes to Southeast. And what is this Southeast? The so called Five Ibo speaking state. Now, what happened to the so called South South? We have 13 states. Mazen Nam, they can't leave anybody behind. He does not leave anybody behind. He does, he carry everybody along. So you're saying now that if Azari Dokobo started killing, quit the killing is already going on. If he started killing the people in the so-called South South, you are not going to do anything. This is what, this is your clear message. You are not going to do anything. But it's only when he enters so-called South, uh, so-called South South. That is when you are going to react. This is your message. You go and watch it again. It's what you said. And uh, according to what you said, is what I am making this address. Let also remember, let also remember in one of the programs, you say that in April, April 2022, that is going to be no cow meat, no cow business in Biafra land. Some of us are not happy. Why would it be in four months' time? Because that was, uh, I think, uh, one of the New Year broadcasts. I think that was one of the New Year broadcasts. And everywhere were shivering. The whole media in the house, everyone were talking. The uh, 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 Fulani coalition, whatever they call themselves, everybody is young. Uh, uh, they said they are going to be, uh, it out, uh, we are going to join this one. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But we say we are very patient. You understand? We, 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 I, I, I could even do it. We love patience and we follow things gradually as things fold. So it's a reminder. It is a reminder. 
that you said on, in, in April 2022, which is in the few months, in two months' time, that is 60 days from now, that there will be no cow business. That is in, 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 indirectly, you are supporting the uh, economic sanction. Because the only thing that brings the full honey into our land is their cow. After having sex, after Fulani having sex with their cows, and they bring it to us, in order for us to do what? To buy and eat. They are making tons of billions of dollars out of it. You promise us on April 2022, there is not going to be a cow meat business. We are still waiting. And also, we want to also remind you, that because this next point has a connection to all of these things. All of this, it has a connection. The CCT camera, which you promised us on the 22nd of November, 2021. 22nd of November, 2021, we are still waiting. Because see what you said, that CCTV camera is going to be mounted in all the towns in all the cities of Biafra land, meaning that the whole 13 states, the money, we have the money. We have the money. So that is not a problem. You are saying now, we have the money, that is not a problem. You said, CCTV camera is going to be mounted in towns and cities of Biafra land so that any atrocities that the Fulanese will commit against our people we can be able to have face clan information to show it to the world to see. You didn't say to show it to private individuals, but to show it to the world. We are still waiting. November, Ghana, December, January, February, three months. We are still waiting. Because when we see a footage of CCTV camera from different locations, if it's there, it will by now be flying all over the world. The next point, this had to do with the zoo government and their terrorist attack on our people. Few days ago, a tanker explode in Onicha by Zenic Bank, Upper Iweka Road, Onicha. And the response of the Willie Obiano, he said that he is not going to provide a fire service to Ndi Onicha and Anambra state at large that their life is worthless. Now, the connection of this CCTV camera, because this CCTV camera have a connection of all of these points that I just raised now, apart from the first point that I, which you said, that the, all the IPU members should not keep information to themselves, which is also do what? It has a little bit connection with that. It has a little bit connection because people are going to be operating those uh, Informations, those are CCTV cameras and their bathrooms. So you have a little connection. The first point that I made has a little, but it has more effect on the people who have been sacked here and there without proper investigation from independent source to hear from the or other people or common masses or common man or floor members like us to hear from them and hear what they have to say. Or are you basing your investigation based on the same people? Or some of them who are corrupt in order to use the system against the pen. If you talk, they will remove you from platform. Do you know how many people that they have removed from WhatsApp? Do you know? Because they ask questions. Do you know how many people that they have kicked out from, uh, from a Twitter group account of uh, IPOB? Because they ask questions. Do you know how many people that they have kicked out from Signal Group? Because they ask questions. So when you ask questions, for example, this thing that Marzio Nkema is talking, he said that on the 21st of June, 23rd of June, and 25th of June, he sent this report about China Samuru to the National Coordinator for him to send it. Because according to him, he said that he received this message on the 21st of June, about 2 p.m., and he forwarded it immediately. But for the past three months, 
this thing did not get to the appropriate quarter, uh, 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 quarter. What is happening? I don't know if you understand. If you ask this question, they will remove you. Because it happens to me. Now the question is, concern the CCTV camera. <clears throat> if CCTV camera is there, as Chike doesn't promise us three months ago, any tanker that is coming, before he begin to do anything, somebody will see, because people are going to be there, volunteers to be monitoring all these CCTV cameras. Our people are not doing anything. Their hope is on Biafra. They want Biafra to come today, tomorrow. They want to die defending Biafra. So volunteers are there. So people are going to be making sure that they are, making sure they, 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 they control whoever that is coming. If tanker, this tanker now that exploded, which is a terrorist attack on our people, by Zenith Bank, Upper Iweka Road on Echa, just a few days ago, Obiano, will Obiano have already denied the people of Anambra, which you heard him say some time ago, that the life of uh, every Anambria worth only 500,000 Naira. He have not come out to say that he's not going to provide a, a fire service to the people of Onicha and Anambra at large. So, our family, IPOB, the leaders, if you are Tokuna Du, as one of my fellow comrades said, that you are a Tokuna Du, if you are a Tokuna Du and you mounted this CCTV camera, you will see that before any movement, one of the volunteer on his location will see that this, this thing is moving one way or the other. What do we do? They will take him down. They will take that motherfucker down immediately. Alright, for you understand what I'm saying now. As they are taking it down, somebody on a bike, back bike, driving fast, fast, go into that tanker and do what? And do you know millions of dollars, if not in billions, that this explosion have destroyed our people? Is Nigerian government providing adequate infrastructure for our people? Or our people is our people fetching for themselves? And now one non-entity will carry a, a, a trailer. And if Nike are not taking, that trailer is one of the trailers that our brothers and sisters are imported from the overseas. And when they get to the wharf, they will seize it. The petrol or the oil is still in our land. So they are not losing anything. They will just say, one of the say, just go and pick, a, just go and get a, one of those a, a trailer that was a seized in Wharf. Go and fill, go and fill tanker. Just come and uh, kill them. Go to Opie Wake. Just go and kill them. Just go and kill them. Okay, yes, sir. They will go and kill everybody. Our leader in this IPUB, this IPUB, if the CCTV camera is there, before anything, movement will know and people will be on standby. Freedom does not come easily. Freedom does not come easily. Somebody will be on a bike, another one will be on the back. When they take that one down, they shoot him down immediately. Immediately they shoot him down, the other one in the back will go and do what? Climb that trailer. Calm it down, then people will be saved. That is number one connection. Number two connection, it's about uh, these uh, Fulani cow meat that which you promised us on the April 2022 that is going to be uh, uh, cow meat is going to be finished. No more cow meat in Biafra land with this and CCTV camera. Which you promised us on the 22nd of June, 20, 22nd of November 2021, that is going to be in all Afra land, in towns and cities. Anywhere that they see, they will see that the, in this location or in that location that is cow meat, once it's there, they will do what? They will go and do what? Kill all of them. Because 
we give them time in order to do what? To listen to us. But is there any CCTV camera to cast all the sins? The answer is no. Three months have gone. Three months have gone. Another connection, the threat that the Asari Rokobo threatening our people that is going to kill all the Afrans. Any movement that they make, if CCTV camera is there, before somebody will make any fucking movement, the CCTV camera will capture that person and the what? Location one, location two, location two, blah, 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 this and that, this and that. It will be captured. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm just making the connection in order to round it up. Now, in the issue of sit at home, Monday, Friday, Saturday, any cities, any state that is not participating, it can now be easy for you to say, this, uh, sit, this state, you are not participating, what is the problem? You have Radio Biafra. We gave you Radio Biafra for you to be having the information. So for that reason, you don't have any excuse. You don't have any excuse in order to say that you're not going to participate in the, in the, in the sit at home. Let's assume that it's not cancelled. Mm. Let us assume that it's not cancelled. Because what is going on right now is voluntary sit at home. Voluntarily. Voluntarily sit at home. That's what is going on. Now let us assume that it's not cancelled. And you provided hybrid materials. For example, Radio Up Afro. You say now. And you say, this state, you are not participating in Radio Up Afro. Why? I mean, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a sit at home. Why? What is the problem? Don't you have Radio Up Afro? Because we know we have Radio Up Afro there. So what is the problem? You say now. The work will not be easy for even you that is working. Freedom is not easy. No. Freedom, it is not easy. It is not easy. So that is to say that every sit at home, Monday, Friday, and Sunday, the sit at home must continue. Our people must feel the pain as we are feeling the pain. As I'm talking to you right now, I don't have service in Damnebu Zoological Republic of Nigeria. I don't have a fucking service. You also say now, everything I do, I invest into this struggle. Anything that has to do with this struggle, I invest it there. So as I'm suffering myself, I don't know that I cannot save money. Not that I cannot save, but I choose not to because I don't believe in Nigeria. That is why I said, nobody, nobody who is a freedom fighter will have interest in Nigeria. Anybody who has interest in Nigeria, that person is not a freedom fighter. If you are building houses in Nigeria and you call yourself a freedom fighter, you are not a freedom fighter. You are just using the struggle to make money. I still remember as the Kemen Kendalin Wachineke, a bona fide active member of IPOB and also an active financial member as well. Serving the indigenous people of Afra through media, evangelists. Thank you guys for watching. Please put your comments like share if you never subscribe for this channel make you subscribe so make you join the movie train as they drop the news you will be the first person to the receiver see you guys for my next video bye bye